the last 20 games of the season, although again, it's, it's been hard not knowing or not going to either the play-in or the playoffs, to see the young players and their growth and their development over these last 20 games quickly in topping last year's draft picks and the three draft picks from this year. Um, how excited are you about what these guys have been able to do in a difficult season yet still have this kind of growth? Yeah. You, you know, you asked me in the beginning about the season and the disappointment and, and that part of it, and, and you know, that, that's definitely there, the fact that we're not in the playoffs. You know, we wanted, that was our goal. We wanted to be in the playoffs. We wanted to take a step. But, you know, I feel as though since the All-Star break, um, the team's, you know, shown some momentum and has shown some good signs. We've been 11-11. We've won eight out of our last 13. And the opportunities that have been given to the guys you just referred to, I mean, have been, you know, have, these guys have gotten an opportunity and taken advantage of it. And, you know, for us, that is, that's very exciting. I mean, Jericho going against starting centers, the 58th pick in the draft. Uh, Obi, the last, you know, week or so has just, you know, taken it to another level, scoring a career-high 35 last game. Um, Quentin, who, you know, had already established himself in the rotation. Deuce getting minutes uh, and doing a good job with it. Quick playing point guard and showing some great signs. And, you know, RJ, we forget RJ is only 21 years old. We have nine players on our team that are 24 years old or younger. And, um, you know, and Julius is only 27. So, you know, all those things take, you know, that we look at that like, you know, development is key. And this, this part, since this part of the season, we've seen some good development, and we just need to work and continue on and build on that. Do you look at 